Ms. Rotz and Ms. Morales, today we honor both of you. Ms. Rotz, you give completely of yourself through your dedication, hard work, and tireless devotion to our school. Thank you for always reminding us to be our best selves, spiritually, academically, and socially. Ms. Morales, you love each of us individually and strive to make sure we are always being the best version of ourselves. Thank you for helping us every day. We have flowers for each of you. Ms. Rotz and Ms. Morales, you are beautiful yet unassuming, and you have many different jobs, just like the bouquet of flowers comes in many different colors. Thank you both so much. Well, it's seldom that I'm at a loss for words. <laughs> but I'm humbled. Um, we are humbled by your appreciation because, to be perfectly honest, um, I feel that I owe all of you <laughs> my appreciation, our appreciation, for the fact that I get to come here every day and spend time with all of you. Um, when I was your age, a little secret, I talked to God and I said, God, one day I want 10 kids. And God laughed and said, I'm going to give you 575. <laughs> I feel like, and I know that I speak for Ms. Morales when I say this as well. I feel like I am blessed every single day by the gift of each one of you. We know that God has put us here for a reason. I love that word at the beginning in the introduction, perseverance. We all have things that we try so hard to do and that we persevere through. But this is one of those things that it's easy to come here and love all of you. That's really easy for me. And when Father Charlie says that there's a genuine smile, it's because I feel like that's my heart on the inside out. My smile is here because you all put this on my face. So thank you for thanking us for the job that we love to do every day. God gives us a chance to help you problem solve, to help you be your best selves, and you help me to be my best self, us to be our best selves. And I don't want you to think for a moment, this select choir of middle school students, I don't want you to think for a moment, Ms. Travis, Mrs. Kelly, Mrs. Gardner, probably all, many other people behind the scenes, that you, the effort for this mass does not go unnoticed. Mrs. Brink, thank you. So I want to thank you, we want to thank you from the bottom of our hearts for the gift of you every day, because you make our days very easy to wake up and come here in the morning, because we love spending our days with you, and God blesses us every day by giving us this amazing place to be. So thank you for your thank you. I am very humbled. We're humbled. And all the goodies that are back in the office, too, we've been spoiled all morning long. And you know what, I don't know how anyone keeps a secret around here, but somehow it just happens. And I think that I'm pretty on top of things, so I don't ever know how I miss anything. So thank you so much. We, um, we are truly humbled and truly blessed by being with all of you. So God bless all of you. The greatest gift that you give us is being you and yelling out things like, our goal is to get to heaven. Ooh, it's awesome. So we all strive to be the version of our best selves, the best version of us. And the greatest gift that we can give one another is to be our best selves for each other. So God bless all of you. Thank you for this special Mass today. Thank you for the gift of you. And let's go out and be Christ to one another and be the best version of ourselves together.